In this lecture, we'll discuss about the empty interface. What is the empty interface? As its name suggests, is an interface with no method. It's completely empty. Type a name, empty interface, and the type interface. This is the empty interface. Any Go type satisfies this interface and that means it can represent any value. This is really important and makes the empty interface very useful sometimes. An empty interface may hold values of any type. Even though it seems very simple, the empty interface is a key concept in Go and for beginners it could be hard to understand. In the Go language specification, you'll find the empty interface everywhere. Let's take a look in Go specification at println function from FMT package. We see that the parameter is a, three dots, and empty interface. This is a variadic parameter and it means that the function can receive any number of empty interface values or in other words, any number of arguments of any type. Let's continue our coding example. I've said that an empty interface can hold any value. Let's test it. The interface is a type, so I can create a value of type empty interface. var empty, empty interface. Empty is of type empty interface. And we can store any value in the empty interface. Let's store an int. Empty equals 5. fmt.println empty. And I'm running the program. There is no error, it printed out 5. The dynamic value stored in the empty interface. Let's store a string. Empty equals go. And there is no error, a string value could be stored in the empty interface. Let's store a slice. Empty equals slice int and some values. Now empty stores a slice. But what if we want to see the length of the slice? Can we write len of empty? Let's check it. I am saving the file and running the program. And there is an error. Invalid argument empty. Type empty interface. We cannot use directly an empty interface in operations. I remind you from a previous lecture that an interface stores in fact two values, a dynamic type and a dynamic concrete value. To access the dynamic value, we have to do an assertion. Please recap this from a previous lecture if it's not clear to you. In our example, if we want to use a function that accepts a slice as argument or a method that works on a slice value, we must retrieve the dynamic value using an assertion. Empty dot and the type we assert in parentheses. So slice int. This is a type assertion. This is how we get the dynamic value stored in the interface. I am saving the file and running the program again. And it worked. There is no error and it printed out 3. The length of the slice. Maybe you wonder why is the empty interface useful? Empty interfaces are used by code that handles values of unknown type and you can pass an empty interface type as a function parameter of any type. To show you this, I'll create a new struct type called person that has one field called info, which is of type empty interface. Type person, struct. 
and it has only one field, info of type empty interface. Perfect. Back to the main function, I'll create a person value. You colon equals person. The info field is of type empty interface. That means I can store any value in that field. For example, you.info equals your name. And I am printing out the info field. I am saving the file and running the program. And it's working. I could store a string value in this field. Let's try to store an int value. u.info equals 40. And there is no error. Let's try to store a slice. u.info equals and slice float 64. And it worked. This is the power of empty interface and everything that is so powerful comes with a cost. Empty interfaces can cause programs to become hard to maintain. The empty interface type is increasingly being misused as a convenient way to bypass Go compiler's type checking. And one of the principles of Go is that it allows us to write type safe code. There are places where empty interface is used in place where explicit interface could have been used. The problem with runtime type checking is that you will never know if there is a problem until it is run. Use empty interfaces only if it's really necessary. Thank you.